I know we talked in, uh, in Fort Lauderdale after that fight that you were a little disappointed that you had to go 15 minutes to get it. But yeah. looking back on it now a couple months later, I mean, how did that kind of uh, affect everything you've done now up until this point? Um, I don't think I don't think it affected anything. I just think, um, you know, I did some th stuff I need to work on for the fight. You know, uh, that fight, I did a lot of striking and like, grappling, you know. Uh, but... For this fight, you know, I did the same thing. You know, I prepared the same way I do every fight, so it's the same. Yeah. So no, no real lessons that came out of that. Nothing, nothing, no, nothing I mean, changed, huh? I mean, I guess the only real lesson I could say is just, um, it's just to be be a little more patient. Like understand that I got the like, there was a couple times I hit him, and I could have stepped back and hit him again, but instead I just went for a takedown. You know, so I think it just being more calm and not just trying to rush in for the takedown. But do you think there there is something to be learned by going the distance for the first time? Uh, yeah, I mean, just just that I could do it, you know. I mean, I did it, you know. What I mean, um, a lot of people probably thought I couldn't do it because I never did it before. So I guess the only thing that I could learn from that is that I can do it, you know. Is that one of those ones like, yeah, I did it, and I, I didn't really like it that much. I'd rather just knock people out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I ain't like it at all. <laughs> you know, I'll go back to my corner. I'll be like, damn, I'm still fighting, you know. So it'd be like, yeah, I don't like it, but you know, if I gotta do it, I I gotta do it, and sure. I will do it, you know. So. so uh, Fairly quick turnaround. I mean, it's only it's like two months, right? I mean, how, how did that work out for you? And was that um, intentional? Did you want to get back in, back in there this quickly? Uh, yeah, I wanted to get back in there as soon as I can. You know, um, it worked out good. You know, I only had a few bruises from the fight. You know, I didn't really have that that uh, that much to worry about. So I just wanted to get back in there, keep it going, keep my name out there, keep going up. Is Pichel the right step up for you? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, He's tough, you know. He's a veteran in here, you know. what I mean, um, I think I think it's the right step up. You know, if I get this win, I think it's just gonna keep pushing me forward. He has a lot more experience than you. Do you think he does? He do anything that you haven't seen before? Will there be some some newer challenges? No, I think he does the same thing that everybody does. You know, um, he's very basic. He hits hard, comes forward, like to throw a leg kicks, like body kicks. You know, um, yeah. So you know, we're ready for it. You know, he don't get me wrong. It's gonna be a tough fight. You know, I'm not saying it's going to be an easy fight. I'm like going to be walking apart. But I don't think he's going to bring anything I've never seen before. You go back and, and watch film, or do you kind of leave that to the to the coaches? Uh, I leave that to my coaches. Uh, I don't like watching film. Um, I actually watched some film yesterday just to, like, be curious. I was like, you know, let me watch it. But during camp, I don't watch it at all. I just um, just do what I feel is best. My coaches go watch it. They come back, tell me what I need to work on. And then while we're practicing, that's what we do. He had that long layoff. Like, we don't usually see somebody go out for that long and then mm -hmm. come back. I mean, what do you make of that? I mean, you know a little bit about, about his background um, and stuff? No, I don't know really too much about his background. I just think he like he had some stuff he wanted to work on, you know, which I ain't worried about. You know, he had a long layoff, you know. So we're going to see how he is when he steps in that cage again. You know, I've been doing it. Um, you know, I just had a fight. You know, I feel comfortable. I feel relaxed once I get in there. I don't need to get, like, get warmed up to the cage, you know. So we'll see what happens. You're, you're one of the top prospects of the division. A lot of people are talking about you, and as you said, this is a good step up. This is a pretty big, big fight for you. Where do you feel like you fall into the division? There's a lot of fighters. It, it's pretty stocked right now. Is that even something you're worried about? Um, no, I'm just worried about Vince right now. You know, um, I like I like that my name's being mentioned. You know, this is a lightweight division. It's very like packed, stacked division. You know, I'm just saying, got a lot of good guys, but. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just worried about one opponent at a time. Worry about just doing me, going in there, getting paid, coming out, and doing it again. Does it feel different this week now that you've you've been through this before at the at the UFC level? And is it a little bit easier this week? Yeah. Coming into town. Yeah, it's easier. Um, you know, I I just like the experience. I always like the experience. You know, the experience is amazing. Coming out here, being taken care of. You know, what I'm trying to say, and it's just like this once in a lifetime. You know, a lot of people fight, but a lot of people don't make it to UFC. You know, so. I think that this is definitely like, I'm just getting used to it, you know what I mean? I love it.